with the help of Animate Diff, we are going to be creating this AI animations in this video. The best way to explain Animate Diff is to have an image generated, which we can see here, and the extension converts the image into a GIF animation. To get started, we need a few requirements, and uh, the first thing we need is the checkpoint, uh, which we are going to use in Stable Diffusion, as we have here. The way to have this checkpoint is to visit the Civit AI page, and if we come here, um, you guys can see um, Tunio is available on Civit AI for download. And also another model good for such animations is also Toon Babes, which you guys can check out. I already have this installed and downloaded. And what you guys need to do is to just click on the download here for any of the checkpoints we want to use. Once this file starts to download from Civit AI, we are supposed to place this file into our stable diffusion folder. And in the folder, we come down to models. You guys are gonna find stable diffusion. So already I have Toon Boom here, as you guys can see, and also I have Toon Babes here. And once they are here, the next thing will move into stable diffusion to install the extensions for Animative. So I'll just come back to stable diffusion what we need to do is to install the extension for Animate Diff, and we don't need to go to GitHub to download any models. What we need to do is to just click on the extension tab here, click on available, load from. Um, I'll just untick this and search for Animate Diff. If you should see the option here for you to click on install. I already have mine installed as you guys can see, so this is grayed out. But then you go ahead and you click install. But once this is completed, you come back to your installed here. You apply and restart UI. I would recommend to also restart Stable Diffusion all over again. You can also come down here and close your entire terminal just to restart Stable Diffusion. Um, the next thing we will need is models for the extension to work, which is Animate Diff. And if you guys can see, I have the models already installed here. How we can get these models to work in Animate Diff is to visit the Hagen Face page, which I am going to include in the description. So um, I'll just come down here and you guys can see um, the Hagen Face page here. And down here under Animate Diff, there are quite a few models. I have already downloaded this. I've downloaded a few of this. Once this is downloaded, we have to place this into the same stable diffusion directory we installed. But under the web UI, you guys can see here, we go to extensions to find the animate the folder. If you haven't installed the extension in Stable Diffusion, you are not going to see this folder. Make sure you install the extension first, then you can direct your models into this folder. So under here, you go to models and save all your files here. You can download a few. Another link for more models is um, this page here, still under Hagen Face, AD Stabilized Motion, which you guys can see uh, two files here. Once we have our checkpoint installed, we have our models installed, we should be ready to animate. As you use Animate Div, we will require a prompt in the text to image tab. I already have a prompt and I'm just going to copy this and paste this. Also, I'm gonna paste in a negative prompt as well. And uh, I have already selected my checkpoint, which is to new. Before we use Animate Div, what I would usually suggest is to just generate the image from the prompt just to see the style and look. Uh, we put the step sampling at 30. We keep the size because uh, we just are uh, previewing to see what it looks like. And CFG scale, we push it to 8. Mm. We keep everything at default. Uh, we keep the that 1 and uh, I'll just generate to see what we get. Once we are happy with what we have here uh, with the prompt generated, now we can just move to um, Animate Div to see how this magic works out here. If this is your first time, you might not see the model selected, but what you can do is to just uh, click down here, which we can select any of this. Uh, down here, you select your GIF, PNG as GIF. Also, when we come here, this is the most important um, checkpoint here. Make sure you have this checked, which is Enable Animate Div. If you don't have this checked, you wouldn't have your GIF uh, generated. Uh, we come here to the number of frames. This will be the duration uh, you want your GIF to be. We'll start at 16. 
to see what we have. Uh, we keep the frames at eight frames per second. You can always change this, but for a GIF file, uh, eight to 12, yeah, might be best. We keep everything else on default and yeah, we can just go ahead and see what we get from this. So from our style and our prompt, uh, we have something like this. Um, you guys can always experiment to see what you come up with, but this is actually awesome from the feedback. And also we have this at um, 16 frames. Another thing we can do is to also extend the time of the animation if we feel this is too short by changing the number of frames from 16, which we can make 64. we have it there we go and i believe this will be a fantastic tool by experimenting more with different settings and different models uh, you guys can always let me know what you think in the comments below if this video was helpful in any way you guys can give it a thumbs up to let me know it was valuable and in the next video i will be explaining a bit more of prompt travel still using animate diff so you can subscribe as well so you don't miss out and i'll see you guys in the next one